coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Everett Lau. Good Saturday evening. It is definitely a cold one out there. Temperatures only topped out in the upper 30s across the Wabash Valley. So with the clouds, it was just a cold, dreary day out there. 35 right now in Casey and Paris, 34 for Robinson, 33 down in Vincennes and Olney. And we're tracking some snow as we get into the overnight hours with those temperatures dipping down close to the freezing mark. But it's also going to be a very blustery Sunday. So it was windy today, going to be even windier as we finish up the weekend. But then we have a quick warm up on the way by the time we get back into the work week. So here's a look at the Storm Team 10 Storm Tracker. We've already seen a little bit of snow trying to work into the Wabash Valley. Though I think a lot of this leading edge, the air still dry enough that we're probably not seeing too much out there. But over the next few hours, don't be surprised to see a few snow flurries further to the west. And if you zoom out, you can see the bigger bunch of this activity is going to be working in. Once you get up here around Champaign towards Springfield, this precipitation is reaching the surface. So as we get into the early morning hours, that's when we'll start to see some snow showers moving through the Wabash Valley. So we'll time that out for you on Futurecast. And again, here's midnight, seeing a few of those scattered snow showers out there. This activity will continue. So here's 3 o'clock in the morning, just some hit and miss snow showers out across the Wabash Valley. And that will take us through the early morning hours. That's going to be around one of the precipitation. And that's the best shot to see some snow. So basically from midnight to 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, that's when we're looking at the snow. But little to no accumulation. Any snow that does fall out there is likely going to be melting as it falls because the ground's still pretty warm. We just had temperatures in the 60s earlier this week. So most of it will be melting. But if there is any accumulation, it'll be in grassy areas or elevated surfaces. So not too many impacts from this system. But you may wake up to see a little bit of snow on the ground tomorrow morning. But as I mentioned, that's just round one of precipitation, so we'll pick future cast back up tomorrow morning. Here's 6 o'clock as we get into 7. Maybe a few more lingering snow showers early on, but eventually we'll see this changing over to rain as we go through Sunday morning because temperatures will be climbing back up closer to the 40 degree mark. But we'll still have some lingering rain showers to deal with as we approach midday on Sunday. And overall, it's going to be a cloudy day, maybe a few breaks in the clouds as we get into Sunday evening. So the forecast for tonight, 33 with those snow showers, eventually changing over to rain. And then we'll see wind gusts as high as 20 miles per hour tonight as we get into the daytime tomorrow. 43, so just a little bit warmer. Scattered rain showers mostly, but windy. Wind gusts as high as 35 miles per hour. Some areas may see gusts as close as up to 40 miles per hour. Tomorrow night, a cold night. We'll see the sky trying to clear out. Going to remain blustery with wind gusts as high as 30 miles per hour, so lows falling down into the middle 20s. As we look the next seven days, maybe a little sunshine on Monday. Highs in the middle 40s, but look at Tuesday. Sunny, highs back in the 60s until cold front comes through on Wednesday, bringing more rain and cooling us back into the upper 40s.